What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today, I've got really exciting news. The pre-order window for Locutus of Borg from X06 has finally dropped, and man, am I amped up. One would say resistance is definitely futile. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, smash the subscribe for me, and let's get into it. I am Locutus of Borg. Resistance is futile. Your life as it has been is over. From this time forward, you will service us. Now let's be honest, I don't give that line any credit in comparison to the great, great Patrick Stewart. As played by Jean-Luc Picard, as Locutus of Borg in the television episodes from Star Trek The Next Generation, Best of Both Worlds Part 1 and Best of Both Worlds Part 2. Now, this Season 3 finale and first episode of Season 4 are some of my favorite all-time episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation ever. Masterfully written, the character development around Riker losing his captain, his uh, that's the commanding officer, of course, number one, and kind of the loss that the crew has to go through realizing that they may actually never get their captain back from the Borg after he's assimilated by the Borg is absolutely devastating and, again, wonderfully written. Now, this episode for me, because it's one of my favorite episodes of Star Trek, I'm coming into this review on this figure specifically definitely a little biased, let's be honest. Having said that, this figure... I think already, just from the photos that we're taking a look at now, is already one of Exo6's best pieces. Now Nanjin, the developer, has said that these photos are still actually not what the final product will look like. Naturally we're used to a prototype image, and sometimes we lose a little bit of the quality in the figure once we have it in hand. Nanjin is suggesting that we're actually going to see an improvement over these prototype images. And if that's the case, oh my goodness, am I excited! Now, one of the things that I love about the Borg is just how, you know, menacing their presence is, right? When you think about losing your individuality, who you are as a person, what makes your personality your personality in favor of a hive mind collective, it's really scary. And the Borg, definitely not Swedish, is one of the coolest bad guys, in my opinion, in Star Trek. But you also have to essentially feel bad for them a little bit, because people and species in the Star Trek universe don't decide necessarily to become part of the Borg. They are assimilated. And when they are personality, when their independence, when who they are as people, even a strong-willed individual like Captain Picard, when that can be taken away from somebody like that, again, it is very devastating. But let's look better at this figure specifically from X06. Now, this is, to date, I think, from what I can find, the most expensive of the X06 releases. This is coming in at the price of 245 US dollars with a $25 flat rate shipping fee from X06. Now something that's really important to note here, the pre-order window is set to be done with X06, at least on their website, as of October 3rd, 2022. So pencil that into your calendar, okay? Because this is a figure, if you're interested in it, I wouldn't sit on the fence on this one. I do think that the price looks like it will justify the quality of the figure. At least I'm hoping so. Crossed fingers, right? Um, but I'm willing to pay a little bit more for a specialty character like this to have it on my shelf. Now, I only have one figure in my collection so far, and that's Data from the movie First Contact. And even though they're not from the same storyline, necessarily, same characters in the world, but not from the same storyline, one's a movie, one's a television show, it's interesting to me that my first two X06 figures that I'll definitely have in hand are Borg-related. I've 
also got seven of nine on the way. So that's technically three Exo Six figures that have Borg components that I will be interested in bringing into my collection. Now, the next thing that is important to note on Exo Six's website, at least, is that there are two buying options. One is for non-Australian customers, and one is for Australian customers specifically. So if any of you are viewers in Australia, make sure that if you're buying through the Exo6 website, you are definitely selecting the correct option because you would not want to think you have this figure on the way and that for whatever reason, because you selected the wrong choice, doesn't come to you, that would be devastating. Let's also look at what this figure comes with. So it is advertised as having more than 30 points of articulation. It comes with a mechanical appendage with articulated hook and levers and terminates his right arm. In addition, it also has a grasping left hand that is also included. Now it also states here that the red lens over his Borg implant on his one eye does in fact light up with batteries, which is very cool, but also likely why we're seeing an Australian release and a non-Australian release. So keep that in mind, again, if you're in Australia, you will likely get the option that does not come with a light up eye. Fortunately, it's the way she goes, but I'm glad that you can at least get this figure in hand. Hopefully it comes at least specifically painted for our purpose to make it look as though it's lit. Lastly, it also has 30 armor pieces that are attached and specifically designed tubing that snakes around the entire body, giving it the illusion of that Borg assimilation uh, option, which I think is really cool. I'm hoping that Exo6 has improved some of their QC so that we don't get any tubes that are kind of coming broken in the packaging or any of those types of things that we've seen with some of the belts on some of the previous figures. I also do wish that based on the price of being the 245 kind of highest price point we've seen, that we'd get at least one or two additional hand sculpts, not just the grabbing hand to be able to swap out, even a clenched fist or something along those lines. But you can't win them all, right? But even still, even if there's a couple QC issues, this may in fact be the one and only time as Star Trek collectors we get an opportunity to have a Locutus of Borg in our collection. The last time I picked up a Locutus, he was a Playmates version. And as much as I love that figure, don't get me wrong, this is going to absolutely devastate that out of the water. These are the figures that I'm willing to pay a little bit more for if they come out the way that I'm hoping. Now it is also important to note that the photographs do show a Borg alcove in behind Picard here. Now, this figure does not come with that, so please don't let that fool you by any stretch. However, we have seen that the, the developer Nanjin has stated that they are making those. So I'm hoping they come out at a relatively reasonable price, because I would like to probably get anywhere between one to three in my collection. I would definitely want one for seven of nine, and at least one or two for Picard. So if they come out as expensive as, for example, the captain's chair that we've seen advertised previously, that's going to be a pretty tough nut to swallow. So keep an eye out for those coming in the future. We haven't got a pre-order window for those yet, but I'm crossing my fingers that they're a reasonable price so that we can get, you know, build essentially a pretty cool display setup for our Borg related figures. Now, the only other thing that I would love to see in the future, and I do already think that Nanjin has said that we won't be seeing these, would be some generic Borg drones. I think that would be really cool. I'm not much of an army builder when it comes to six scale, but if I could build a bit of an army of Borg collective, oh yeah, that would definitely come to my collection for sure. So, you know, if we're vocal enough, if we say we want it, if we give Nanjin a good reason for it, maybe one day we'll get it. But either way, this figure has definitely been made with some love. I love the likeness of Picard here. I think the face sculpt is excellent. I think the paint applications from the photos we're seeing is excellent. And I think the suit is definitely, definitely a screen rip from the television show. Very excited to see this going forward. But what are your thoughts, guys? Are you guys going to get this figure in your collection? Have you already pre-ordered it today? Or are you waiting to see maybe some in-hand options? Keep in mind, I think once this guy is gone, he's going to be really hard to track down. Not to create FOMO, but I do think this release is fire and it's going to fly. So, <laughs> keep me posted. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts? Are you buying this figure? Are you not? Do you love Locutus? 
are you waiting for some of the other figures, or are you off XO6 based on some of the other releases that we've seen so far? I'd love to hear from you down below. But if you like this video, hit the like button for me, smash the subscribe. Resistance is not futile for me. I'm definitely going to get this figure. <laughs> love y'all. Catch you on the next video.